Okay, so y'all know that my channel was removed and I was just getting to this evidence of this satanic temple worshiping this Baphomet, this ball, this satanic devil. Um, and the lower nature of mankind, um, which involves Satanism. And my channel was removed because it also involves blood rituals where people kill and sacrifice people to this Satanic dem um, demonic entity. So um, people talk about the mark of the beast and all of that. First of all, let me just say that's already here. The Antichrist is already here. Uh, it's already here. People have already been tried uh, about their religion, and it's going to continue to happen every day um, until the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, um, as if stepping foot on this earth to defeat these demonic entities. Um, as far as people um, taking these marks or whatever, it, these people are getting marked all on their hands already. And they're getting marked. Uh, that that pyramid is significant for 666. Um, they're already getting marks on their heads. They're already getting marks um, on their foreheads and on their hands. And they're basically showing allegiance to this satanic temple. And in this satanic temple, what they have you do is denounce Jehovah, the one true living God, the Father. And they have you denounce Jesus Christ, the Son. So you cannot get to the Father if you do not have a Son. And the Father is not going to take you serious if you deny His Son, Jesus Christ. So, um, basically, without knowing Satan is white, you will be lost trying to figure out this covenant. You will be lost trying to figure out revelations, and you will be lost trying to figure out anything pertaining to God, anything pertaining to your salvation, anything pertaining to any sort of purpose in this life. You have to know that Satan is white. So when you go into this satanic temple, um, you will find out that Satan is white, and that is the secret. And then Satan will require you to worship him, but not only will he require you to worship him, he'll want you to also worship his image um, of white skin, um, of his hair texture, and he'll want you to denounce Jehovah. And God is black, or God, even if he's not just all the way like dark skin, God is of, um, he's colored, and he's not white. And God was telling me something specific about him not being white and about them having a problem with that and about them persecuting us because we're his bloodline and because they have a problem with God. They want to be like God. They want to be exalted as God. So they know that God is not white. So they want to persecute blacks who are worshiping the real God. So they want us to come and uh, denounce uh, our Lord and denounce his looks and glorify his which is the mark of the beast so um, this is something about the gang that sacrificed a girl um, that, remember I was telling you about uh, those leaders gang leaders who were arrested for uh, some sort of blood ritual these gang members admitted that they served Satan and they admitted that they said he wanted um, some sort of uh, uh, soul, that he wanted a human life for whatever it was that um, they were trying to do. So another thing that I could say is, you know, God had told Abram when he first made the covenant with Abram, because um, he changed his name to Abraham, so it was Abram. And he was telling him that uh, he wanted him to sacrifice his son. Isaac and Abram Abraham went to take him to sacrifice his child but then God stopped him and said no you know I, I see you loyal to me you was willing to do this for me don't lay a hand on the lad but Satan is wicked and he also wants to be like God so he's asking people when you come into this coven with him sacrifice your child to me sacrifice me your firstborn do this to me or something to that sense somebody you love or hurt somebody for me and he's so wicked that he actually wants them to go through with it. He's not like God. He, you know, God spared him. He wants to be evil. He wants to do wickedness. Uh, he wants uh, to upset the Lord and be like, yeah, well, I'll have them killed at once for real. I'm not going to stop them. I want them to show that their allegiance is to me. And I'll know for sure that their allegiance is to me and it's going to stay to me if they kill for me. And if they don't, then I'll kill them. Uh, because they went into their coven 
and God said not to do that. Um, God said that Andrea did not take an oath to you. Um, that um, and and so she, God said, do not kill her or the boy. This is what God said when they were trying to do the ritual on me and my on me and my son while I was in the jail. And God said, well, if you want to kill somebody. He said, and you killed the ones who made the coven with you. You killed the ones who made the oath to you. You don't kill Andrea and her son. And God said, do not kill him. You can take him into your kingdom for now, but do not kill him and he better be alive. That's what God said. So um, people are accusing hundreds of devil worshiping pedophiles for operating white class uh, operating in white class middle areas where suburban daycares are. So there have been people who have been making these um, what they call so called accusations about them for a very very long time. Alleged victims testimonies, court cases involving these so called allegations and criminal investigations um, you know saying that these people cannot even handle these cases for about this type of uh, child sexual abuse. Um, and there are not really real child advocates out there. There are not really real investigators out there. There are not really real therapists out there. Um, these people have everything on lock right now. Um, and there is no nudity. Um, this is just a um, little clip to show you uh, some of the pictures of some of the sexual abuse um, that's occultic um, and it involves the occult uh, and a lot of the wealthy and powerful people have abducted children um, and bred children for human sacrifice pornography and prostitution so this is very serious when someone has come done witchcraft to me and telling me they're involved with this coven and fighting me tooth and nail across America for my child uh, satanic ritual abuse known as ritual abuse ritualistic abuse organized abuse sadistic ritual abuse is subject of a moral panic that originated in 1980 but this is going on even today and it is worse today than it has ever been from what I have uh, did my research about uh, because they're real sneaky um, with the way that they use children so it says dozen California communities have been telling authorities that they have been sexually abused by groups of adults who also forced them to take part in satanic type rituals, including the drinking of blood, cannibalism and the sacrificial murders of other children. And then it says that um, 15 victims of alleged child sex abuse ring have made such allegations, accusations against their parents and other adults. And these people have come to me in the spirit telling me that this is what they do. So it said kids tell of satanic rituals. Scores of children told of these rituals. So these children, why would these children make this stuff up? So then they call the children crazy too. So I'm crazy and the children is crazy. Is that what y'all trying to tell me? I'm. This is what God was showing me about the hunting and about me possibly having to be killed um, or having to have my life on the line just to tell the truth about the victims of these people because it's that many victims that they probably have so it says child sacrifice is the ritualistic killing of children in order to please or appease a deity supernatural beings or sacred social order tribal group or national loyalties in order to achieve a desired result Okay, so when someone threatened to kill my child to please white people, or you threatened to kill my son uh, to keep the order of things of no black person hurt, hurt a white person. Black Freemasons did witchcraft and threatened to hurt my child as to keep the natural order of things, what they claim of this being white people's country. So they threatened to sacrifice my child while I was in the jail. Even though I know my child was alive and God said he better be alive, but they threatened to harm my child and me, but specifically harm my child to appease white people so that no black person would ever hurt another white person in this country, even though it was self-defense, even though it was defense of my child. So... That just kind of goes hand in hand with that. But his father was already hurting him. 
Um, so that has something to do with um, child sacrifice as well because he was attacking my boy repeatedly inside of my home. He was re- attacking my baby. He punched him in the back. He uh, made him fall and hit his head in the bedroom, in the living room, in the kitchen, and he was attacking me. And they're over here trying to cover it up. They're over here trying to cover up that my baby daddy had joined something and he come into the house attacking my boy and attacking me. And it got something to do with Satan. I'm not playing about the evidence in my case. So you Satanists need to stop trying to follow me around, torturing me and this baby, and stop me from putting out evidence about my son. I'm putting out the evidence, period.